So on our second staycation cycle tour, we're going to go to Shannon Bridge on a loop that's going to take about an hour and 45 minutes of cycling, encompassing some 34 kilometres. And we're starting from Crea Church, Our Lady of Lourdes Church there in Crea. And we're heading out to Shannon Bridge Road, which is the, the R357, the old N6, out towards Ballydangan. We're doing a bit of a loop. We're passing Dewberry, the factory created in town in the early 1930s, passing John Dolan's and Mike and Mary Dolan's uh, Circle K SO station, and Nocton's N6 Motors, all the way out to the Beha Brabazon roundabout, or rather new roundabout there that's created <coughs> when the road was being done. And we don't go across the motorway, we go out the old Atlone Road, the old N6, passing Hogarty's, which is a type of a gate lodge, up to the Pierce's uh, wonderful football and hurling complex. Pierce's, of course, was common county champions in football. Um, so that's the the Pierce's Junction there across from Hogarty's. And then we're making a right at Ballydangan to go up that road towards Moor, over the motorway, uh, crossing the uh, the new motorway, into the parish of Moor, which in 1837 had 4,386 souls in it. It's now down to about 1,200, but a very active and vibrant community development council. Uh, the Church of, of uh, Our Lady of no, St Mary's with its round tower and there's the National School which you'll pass by on your right hand side as you pedal up a slight incline it has to be said <coughs> because you're passing Kilbeckley Hill um, then you'll come to a T-junction onto the Shannon Bridge the R357 road at the uh, Lady of the Rosary Church in Clune Fad uh, and passing Old Town and Kenny's the uh, post office that closed in 2008 and that's the view you'll have as you head into Shannon Bridge of the ramparts built that would have faced a Napoleonic army if it came in from the west. Lots of lovely places to picnic in Shannon Bridge. Um, this is where you're into Offaly. And this was a strategic fortification on the Ireland's largest waterway, which the British uh, defended uh, in Napoleonic times between 1801 and 18. So the bridge was erected by the British in 1757 uh, along the same design as the bridge at Ballina Killaloo, done by the same engineer in the middle because at that time for 150 years the Shannon was the main navigable waterway for goods. There's a view of the fort uh, from the eastern side of the river. Uh, there's the famous Lucas, uh, traditional restaurant and bar where people can uh, sip and uh, take some food. The uh, community, Moore Community Development Council have an information uh, tourist point they're opening most mornings, uh, which can give you further information about what's available to do and see. That's the view down to the power station. There is the old Swivel Bridge that was removed in 1979. Supermax is one of two eateries in the village, and there's a beautiful hidden gem across from St. Kieran's Church uh, that the Community Council of Shannon Bridge put in, a children's play park, which is open free to the public and has some wonderful benches as well for picnicking. That's Shannon Bridge Church itself. And then if, if you're very advent uh, adventurous and you want to continue the loop out to Clomac Noise, it will put an extra 30 kilometres of a cycle on you. On the way back in towards town, you're passing the Collier Fishing Grounds. You'll pass Tom Raftery's motors on your left-hand side before again a bit of an incline up towards the old Dunesker, where the McKeown family have had their uh, sand and gravel pit for a number of years. You can't go in there. It's only for customers. But there's a beautiful vista from the gateway across to the uh, Lawrencetown and Clontuskert side of the Suck Callows. Then you come up, cycle to the Art Carn roundabout. Don't take the signs that say Ballin the Slow. We're going to go in the old Portnick Road, which will take you across the speed bumps uh, and up be beyond the Moy Carn or into the Moy Carn Lodge area. The Barony of Moy Carn, of course, is where this town is situated. And Dolan's in the second private marina on the Suck will look after you with food and good hospitality should you need sustenance after your 30 kilometres on the bicycle or so. Um, <clears throat> some nice uh, picnic benches and some nice views from the Moycarn in there. <clears throat> then you head back up the road to the T-junction at Crea, where the Crea Community Development Council have put in some wonderful uh, uh, signs and information points. So our next cycle tour will hopefully be to Clantuskert, and we look forward to welcoming you then.